Hey guys, this is Zenith Dark Sky here with another music reaction, and today we're reacting to Morissette again. The beautiful, the amazing Morissette doing She Used to Be Mine, which is a uh Sarah Bariah's cover. I don't I don't know who that is. Um and I think I might know who that is, actually, but I don't think I've heard the song though. Uh live on stage is st sessions, which I assume is a um uh some kind of a music company that puts together performances or something like that uh and it seems like it says up there ss corin cor corin themes so i assume this was during quarantine <clears throat> and kind of uh making you know seeing if artists would do at home performances and send them in and everything uh which is really cool a lot of people did that kind of thing and i think that's really badass i think that's really cool but Either way, Morissette, I've loved everything she's done. Her voice is amazing, angelic, beautiful. I don't know what else to call it. It's so good, so I'm, I'm happy to hear this either way. I don't have an original song of this to sit here and compare to in my head, but I'm sure it'll be great. Either way, before we get into it, real quick, if you will hit that subscribe button for me. Um, we just passed 5,000. We're on our way to 10,000 subs. Please do hit that subscribe button for me. If you guys wouldn't mind, uh, let's blow the channel up over here. And, you know, if you guys have suggestions, we'll get around to it. I put out two, um, two a day, two reactions a day. So hopefully that's enough for, for you guys. Either way, let's get into it and, and just, I don't know, get chills, get goosebumps again. Doesn't it feel amazing to be in love? Wow! <laughs> Staray! Ako talaga! Anyways, going back to the, you know, serious Morissette. Not a lot of you guys know that I actually have a little theater background. Back in, I think, 2012, I had my very first musical theater experience being cast for Repertory Philippines production of Disney's Camp Rock the Musical. Oh. And I was asked to take the part of Michi Torres, which was portrayed by Demi Lovato in the original movie. Interesting. Uh, wait, what's that? I know, I know. Ah, uh, sample, sample. Oh, see, wait. <laughs> Char. I'm <laughs> This is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. <laughs> Gonna let the light shine on me. Now I found who I am. There's no way to hold it in No more hiding who I want to be This is me <laughs> yeah. Before we get into the actual thing, just because that's in the video, so I, sh I feel like I should comment on it. I'm not a big um, Camp Rock fan, right? I was young, and that, that was definitely when I was a kid, or when I was younger at least, um, the Camp Rock stuff uh, on Disney, and it that just wasn't my thing. I wasn't a big fan of of voices and music like that and everything. But she did a really killer job there. Um, Demi Lovato is a great singer, but I I want I admittedly I think Morissette is a far better singer. Um, but either way, no hate to Demi. She's she's been through some stuff, or they've been through some stuff. My bad. Either way, uh, let's get back into it though. Yeah, I remember having so much fun, but I really did grow as a performer from that experience and it was just really priceless. Just imagine just having to remember everything from the, the blocking and then we also have um, choreography, uh, our lines, our lines and then all of those power vocal songs and not to mention Shepre because we're independent people. Should I we we even like sometimes most of the people in the theater do um their hair and makeup and just do everything themselves backstage. So I in my part I also had to think about just all the quick changes I had to do for the show and it was crazy. Yeah, I definitely learned so much from that experience and gained so much respect for the theater community. And I am looking forward to hopefully doing it all again someday. Anyways, I would love to huh. sing for you guys. Wants to get back into that's it. That's huh? from a newer musical. Well, not very new, but this was actually based on a movie back in the 2000s and was adapted and brought to the theater uh, with music written by Sarah Bareilles. This is She Used to Be Mine from the musical The Waitress. Hmm. I don't know that I've ever seen the movie <clears throat> or the musical, but. It's not simple to say And 
most days I don't recognize me Have these shoes and this apron That place and its patrons Have taken more than I gave them It's not easy to know Okay, so real quick here, I want to point out that you can very, very easily tell the um, that she's even, even though this isn't a theater performance of this, she's giving it that theatrical kind of, go listen to a theater performance of a song. Um, it's really easy if you compare a theater performance of a song to that song not on theater. Like sometimes people will bring songs that are already on the radio and stuff like that to the theater or to movies and there's always a different vibe to it and you sing it differently right there's a lot more cleans and stuff like that in it um rather than letting the raw emotion and stuff it's a lot more theatrical and and and, and overproduced in a way um uh and usually not overproduced but you know it sounds overproduced in a way it's just that good that clean and nice and neat um and you can very clearly hear that here, which is great. Um, I think she would be great, and I'm sure she is great, uh, theater or doing voice acting and, and singing and stuff in Disney movies and stuff. I think she'd be great uh, doing as well. Not anything that I used to be, although it's true. I was never the tension sweet center. I still remember that girl. She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. Beautiful. She is hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help. She is messy, but she's kind. Beautiful. She is Ooh. Most of the time she is all of this mixed up and bites in a beautiful pie. She is gone, but she used to be mine. Beautiful vocals there, dude. I'm telling you, dude. If she she's as a killer singer she is so good um god and her i was saying i was talking about the th the theatrical stuff earlier she's got the tone for that right um but i love the warmness and the depth to her tone you know it's you don't with a lot of really good singers and stuff you almost like with mariah carey i like to bring up mariah carey because people know that I'd, i'm not a big fan of mariah carey uh, she's a great example of someone that sings so good and she knows she sings so good that there's almost no emotion in the music anymore. Um, but she's the opposite. She's so good at being so good while keeping the emotion and keeping that attachment. Like, I'm getting a little emotional listening to the song and what the song's about here. Um, having never seen the waitress or or the movie that's based on or anything like that i'm very i'm getting a clear picture here and it's just such an emotional thing and she's she's touching that emotion so well you know it's great it's not what i ask for sometimes a lie just slips in through a back door and carves out a person and makes you believe it's all God, so good. Now I got you. You're not what I asked for. If I'm honest, I know I Ooh. would give it all back for a chance to start over and rewrite an ending or two. For the girl that I know who be When she sings Reckless there, first of all, I want to point out she has great vowel placement. 
Um, I'm not a vocal coach or a professional or anything, but something that you notice over time listening to music and watching performers and stuff like that is is you'll notice how they sing their words, like how they pronounce pronounce their, you know, how they form their mouth for their vowels, right? And she has great vowel placement at all times. But when she sings Reckless here, first of all, great vowel placement, but um, watch her tongue. Something that a lot of people don't know is they'll sing and they, you know, they have their tongue up in the way because when we talk, we don't really put our tongue anywhere. We just kind of let it go wherever it wants to. I'm trying to show that to you guys, but it's probably not coming across. Either way, um, but when you sing... If you're belting out notes and stuff like that and singing kind of from the chest and everything, you'll notice people's tongues kind of pressed down in their mouth, like kind of suppressed um, a little bit. And you notice, you'll notice that here when she sings this note. It's just something interesting to point out that maybe, you know, you'll start noticing in a lot of really good singers and stuff. Um, they, do, they tend to do that. They tend to really, really control everything, you know. Love the attitude and the emotion. Beautiful vibrato. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely most of the time. She is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She is gone, but she used to be. Ooh, what great, what great vocal control. She has such great vocal control to control that her tongue for one. I'm sure you guys started noticing after I pointed it out. You could see where she would use her tongue to say, you know, you need your tongue to say things, right? Um, so to form certain words and everything. But also when she would hold notes, if she goes like higher and stuff like that, you could see where her tongue was like down and then kind of like not out like that but kind of up a little bit you know it's hard to do while talking but kind of her her tongue would kind of come up for a second and like ah uh, like kind of thing you know um but besides that though just like right there at the end she could have went crazy with that last note but she didn't she brought it up kind of brought it down and you could almost hear the emotion and the sadness and and the tears um, welling up in her voice right there toward the end and I don't know if they were if she's just that great of a performer that she gave that feeling you know but it almost got me dude I almost got really emotional there to be honest um whew, so good her voice is just solid dude she is definitely one of my favorite singers like just in terms of pure raw talent and emotion she's so so good dude she is really good. Either way, I'll stop talking. Um, I, this video has run on really long. It's just, I can't, I can't not say good things about her, you know? Either way, hit that like button if you like the video, you like the reaction. Be sure to tell me down below in the comments your thoughts and opinions and more, maybe some more suggestions for things to react to as well. Share it around so your friends can give their thoughts, opinions, suggestions as well. And subscribe if you guys haven't already. We passed 5,000 on the way to 10,000. Help me get there. Either way, thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video.